Let's get to our ETF spotlight now. Dom Chu's taking a look at the leaders and laggers during this record run for stocks. Dom. All right, so David, markets are taking a bit of a breather this morning, as you can see, with the S&P 500 and NASDAQ composite both closing at record highs in yesterday's session. Now, that run for the S&P has taken it roughly 25 percent higher than where it was after that carnage on Christmas Eve. But the run towards record highs hasn't really benefited all parts of the market equally. So as we talk about stocks at record highs, let's take a look at some of the other parts of the market that underperformed that move in the S&P 500, 25 percent gain. Remember, keep that in your mind. We'll do it through the lens of ETFs. So take a look. While the surge in the consumer discretionary sector has made a record high, not all of retail is participating. The equal weighted spider S&P retail ETF, the ticker XRT, is gained, yes, but only around 19 percent. I say only because, remember, the S&P is up 25 percent. So good, but an underperformer. Biotech has done better than the broader healthcare sector overall, the laggard, remember, this year. The iShares NASDAQ biotech ETF, ticker IBB, is up, yes, 18 percent in that time, so still underperforming the broader market overall. And on the precious metal side, gold miners represented by the Vanek Vectors Gold Miners Fund, the ticker GDX, they're actually negative, down around 2% or so since the December 24th lows. So yes, record highs for the broader indices, but not every asset has participated fully, and some of those parts of the market may be a focus for investors as we approach other areas of record highs in the markets. Carl, back over to you.